Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of iPhone, and the one thing I do know about the iPhone is it can't control this bulb, it can't control this lamp, it can't control this wireless downlighter, and most importantly, it can't control this Broadlink RM Pro, which means it can't control my TV and my set-top box and my RF plug sockets and my RF light switches. Well, can it? Hey Siri, music room off, bitch. Running your shortcut. Done. <laughs> Credits where credit is due. These instructions came from Martin Lees. He is clearly a genius, whereas I am an iPhone virgin. Uh, not an actual virgin. Uh, also, thanks to Zemi Smart for sending me this iPhone. God bless them. I could not do this video without them. Zemi Smart stuff is awesome. Also, check that out. Uh, without further ado, let's do this. I'm not going to show you how to set this up from scratch because, well, I did that. You can already go and watch that video. Uh, I'm assuming you already have one of these set up or you have something similar set up that you want to be able to control with this and currently don't know how to. Uh, we're going to use if this then that and if you don't know what if this then that is, then it is this. If this then that is technology that lives out there on the internet, and it listens to things, and then does things. It's as simple as that. You could connect your Nest thermostat to if this then that, and your Philips Hue hub to if this then that, and then make it so that if your house drops below a certain temperature, it changes your Philips Hue lamps to blue. Uh, if you're a weirdo, don't do that. Pretty much every smart home manufacturer worth their salt is out there connected to if this then that, except for some reason, Apple's Siri. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a service that if this then that produces called Webhooks. And Webhooks listens for a URL being triggered. A URL is just like a website address. Uh, and we're going to get Siri to connect to that website address so that if this then that knows to trigger whatever it is we want it to trigger. Simple. Let's do it. So before you begin, you're going to need two applications. The first one is if this then that, obviously, so we can set up if this then that. The second one is shortcuts, and it's shortcuts that allows us to send the URL to if this then that when we say something to Siri. Uh, so I'm going to start out by opening if this then that, at which point you'll need to sign up if you're not already signed up. Don't worry, it is safe. Uh, I'm going to go into my applets now that I'm signed in, and I'm going to press the plus button because I want to create a new applet. The applet is like the thing that houses all this stuff, the if and the that. Uh, so I'm being asked what happens, first of all, to trigger this situation. Uh, so I'm going to say if this happens. I'm going to search for a service called Webhooks. Webhooks is the thing that receives the URLs. So if it receives a particular web address, it will do a thing. Uh, so I'm going to say when you receive a web request, and it now says, but I don't know who you are. You've never connected to me before, so I'm going to press connect which randomly opens a web page for no reason. Just press OK and then go back to if this then that and we'll be able to carry on. Uh, so I'm going to press receive a web request again, press connect again, and this time randomly it works. Well done iPhone, that's very strange. Uh, so it then says, what is your web request event name? Um, I'm going to first of all set up my music room because I want to control my music room. So I'm going to call this all in lowercase letters, music room. All in one word as well. I think that's important. I don't know. Uh, press done and then scroll down to create trigger. And it's now going to listen out for a specific URL that contains the word music room all in one word. And then it's going to say, well, what do I do when that happens? And the answer is that. And I'm going to search for Broadlink because I'm going to control my Broadlink. But you could search for your Philips Hue or whatever it was you wanted to control. I want to control this thing. Uh, so I'm going to pick one of these two options. This is where a lot of people get confused. If you're in the EU, pick the EU. If you're not in the EU, don't pick the EU. It's really straightforward. Uh, I'm going to pick the EU one because that's where I am. Uh, and it then says, well, what do you want to do? I want to turn a device on or off. And it then says, but I don't know who you are. So I need to press connect to my Broadlink account and then sign in to my Broadlink account so that it specifically controls this thing in my hand, not somebody else's thing, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to press confirmed because I agree the terms and conditions and then next. And then I'm going to sign in with my Broadlink account. Cool, that is done. So for some reason, it's taking me back again. So I'm going to say turn device on or off, and then I'm going to press connect again, and then 
For some reason, it then just lets you in fine. And I get a list of the devices that this thing has already been taught about. Uh, one of the things it's been taught about is my music room. Uh, so I'm going to select music room, press done, and then say I want it to turn on, done, and then create action. So now when it receives that URL, it will run this task, which is just to send a message to this thing to say, turn on the music room. If I press finish, that's it, job done. If this then that is set up. So now that I've created the thing in if this then that, which tells this thing to turn my music room on, all we have to do is find a way to get this thing to trigger that series of events. Easy, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is open up the Shortcuts app, which you did download, because I told you to do it, remember? Uh, and then click Create a Shortcut. Uh, search for the word text and click that. And enter the text as exactly the same thing that we put into if this then that as our trigger word. So our trigger word in this case was music room on, all in lowercase letters. Super important that you make it exactly the same as you did in if this then that. And then press the little done button there in the middle. Uh, then we're going to search for URL. Uh, we're going to click that. And then we need to enter the URL that will trigger a series of events. So I'm going to go back into if this then that. I'm going to go to services, and I'm going to scroll down to webhooks. I'm going to scroll up to the top so we can see a documentation. I'm going to click on documentation, and here is a URL. If I just scroll out a little bit, we need to copy all of that URL there to our clipboard, and then open up again our shortcuts app and paste it into the URL. And all we have to do is replace the bit in the middle where it says event with this little yellow text button. So all it will do is it will trigger that URL with our music room on command in the middle. And now we can copy and paste as many of these as we like to create individual different tasks that we can then create in if this then that which I'll do in a second. Uh, so I'm going to press the done button at the bottom. And we're now going to search for the word get space URL. And we need get contents of URL. And then press this little button at the top here, top right so that we can name our shortcut. And this is the name that Siri is going to be listening out for. So I'm going to call this music room on bitch. And press done. Uh, and then we just click add to Siri. Uh, and it says you can say something like music room on bitch, which I'm going to. Music room on bitch. <laughs> Perfect. Done. I'm going to press done again. And then done again. And we now have in our library a shortcut which will switch my music room on via if this then that using this thing. Amazing. Hey Siri, music room on, bitch. Running your shortcut. Okay. That's great, but I can't turn my music room off. So I need to create exactly the same thing again, but for the off command. So I'm going to go back into if this then that and into my applets and press the plus button just like I did before. I'm going to say if this happens and search for webhooks, receives a new web request and the event name is music room off. done and then create trigger and then say that and then broad link. Turn device on or off. Load device. Music room. Done. Off. Done. Create action. And then finish. That's if this then that set up and all I've got to do is go back into my shortcuts and this time all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the existing one by holding down on it and pressing the copy button. So I'm going to go into music room on bitch one, which we've just created by clicking the little uh, icons at the top right. And we're just going to change this to be music room off. Done. Uh, so this will now send the correct URL to, to turn my music room off. I just press these buttons at the top and I can change the name to music room off. Bitch. Done. And then add to Siri and then say music room off bitch. Job done. 
So I can now do this for as many things as I like, and it doesn't necessarily have to be for Broadlink. I could use if this then that to trigger an IP camera and then use her to then set the IP camera watching for motion. I can do literally everything with this technique, and it's beautiful. Now I imagine the first comments down there is about this thing, and the answer is, I have no idea whether it works with this. Uh, I don't own one, Martin did some research and said he thinks it should work, but he's not 100% sure. I suspect what you will need to do is have your iPhone permanently powered on and in the house so that the HomePod can access the shortcut to trigger it and make it work. Uh, that being the case, you might want to do this on an old iPhone that you've just got kicking around. That's it for this week. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. As usual, come and hang out with me at these places. And if you want to help make these videos a possibility like these amazing people here, you can do so at Patreon and support me as a one-off payment at PayPal. I'll see you next time. Or can it? <laughs> Done that. If you do no want, if you do no want, that's not going to make any sense. I'm assuming it changes your Philips Hue lamps to bulb. That would be.